वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट स्वागत है आपका आपके अपने यूट्यूब चैनल पे तो बच्चों आज हम आज से स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं सीबीएसई के क्लास नाइन का इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी की सीरीज ओके okay, तो सबसे पहले हम स्टार्ट करेंगे डिजिटल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन है चैप्टर है आपका पार्ट बी का यूनिट नंबर एट ओके सो व्हाट इज इन बाय डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फर्स्ट वी शुड नो व्हाट इज इन बाय डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एक्चुअली डॉक्यूमेंटेशन रेफर्स टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग सेट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड प्रोवाइडिंग देम टू यूजर बाय मीन्स ऑफ पेपर ऑनलाइन और सी और एनी अदर मीडियम ऑफ शेयरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट ओके बट Uh, a document can be in the form of letter, a report, book, or any thesis. Many things are there for, as a document. In earlier days, document were mostly handwritten, but nowadays we are using a computerized copy, and handwritten documents were replaced by those prepared with typewriters. Uh, if you know the things. and with more and uh, advancement we can say in the field of information technology typewriters are replaced by computers for documentation purpose and the documents prepared using the computers are generally referred to as digital documentation so we can say the documents which are created by using computer that is digital documentation तो इस डिजिटल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन के लिए क्या क्या फीचर्स रखते फीचर्स लगते हैं वो सारे फीचर्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर तो सबसे पहले हम देखेंगे सेशन नंबर वन वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग तो वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग होता क्या है एक्चुअली वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग इज अ प्रोसेस इज अ प्रोसेस टू क्रिएट एडिट सेव एंड प्रिंट टेक्स डॉक्यूमेंट ऑन द कंप्यूटर यूजिंग अ वर्ड प्रोसेसर अगर वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग एक प्रोसेस है वर्ड प्रोसेसर से होती है तो वर्ड प्रोसेसर क्या है एक्चुअली वर्ड प्रोसेसर इज अप्लीकेशन यू नो मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स यू नो मेनी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वर्ड प्रोसेसर वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग एप्लीकेशन आर लिब्र ऑफिस राइटर नोट पैड वर्ड पैड और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड मेनी एप्लीकेशन आर देर एंड देर आर यूजफुल फीचर्स ऑफ वर्ड प्रोसेसर लाइक फास्ट स्पीड easy editing permanent storage simple formatting adding graphics spell check then mail merge find and replace means many features are there which are very very useful for digital documentation so this is all about the word processing now the session second is introduction to libro office writer so i think as you are in ninth standard so libro office is new for you so i am going to introduce libro office so whatever you are seeing on screen this is libro office writer okay i am going to show you the home page of libro office see this is home page of libro office so actually libro office is a set of some softwares where we uh, we are getting write a document calc spreadsheet impress presentation draw drawing math formula best database so in this year we are going to learn write a document for digital documentation calc spreadsheet for electronic spreadsheet in next chapter and then impress presentation after that chapter okay so in digital documentation we are going to use write a document i am going to open this write a document so this is the blank document of writer document so first we will see all the element of this window one by one so from starting will start you can see the uppermost part topmost part of this window is written untitled one what is this this is title bar what is this is title bar title bar displays the name of the application and the document on which you are currently working and it is always located at the top of the screen 
untitled one untitled one is a by default name of any document in libreoffice it may be in libreoffice writer it may be in calc spreadsheet or it may be in impress whereas if we talk about the microsoft so we we will get the document one in ms word will get the book one in ms excel and presentation one in ms powerpoint whereas in libreoffice everywhere you will get only untitled one got it so this is title bar if we save this document now we will save and we'll che uh, check the name of this document we'll save this document as doc save then you can see in title bar the name of this document change and we are getting here doc dot odt what is that odt this is open document text actually libreoffice and open office supports open document format so if we are saving any document of open office writer so you will get this extension odt open document text okay so the next one is menu bar so this is our menu bar where we can see the file edit view insert format style table form tools window and help this kind of menu so this is menu bar it contains the menu and menu bar is located below the title bar then what will be the title bar which will be the title bar then this is the title bar okay then formatting toolbar formatting toolbar is useful for format the text or format the document so which kind of things we need for formatting the second one we have seen menu bar okay so which kind of things we need for formatting like we can bold it we can make it italic we can change the color of background we can change the color of font or we can change the font directly or style so all these things are formatting and we are getting all this thing here we can see bold italic underline superscript subscript font color then highlight color so this is our formatting toolbar it consists of commands used to format the text such as making the text bold italic and underline okay so third one we have seen formatting toolbar now the next one is ruler can you see the ruler here see this is ruler where we can see the digit 1 2 3 4 5 and we can set margin by using this ruler it helps in setting the horizontal and vertical alignment of the text it allows you to set tabs margin and indent in a page okay so this is ruler now the next element of this window is window control button these are the window control button this is minimize this is maximize and this is close we can say restore down and this is minimize okay so these are the windows control button now the next thing next element is standard toolbar where we can get the shortcut things or shortcut icon shortcut ways for uh, frequently used command like save copy cut test here we are getting all these things if you want to insert table so directly we can insert the table otherwise we need to follow the uh, many steps here we can directly use this things paste copy cut then print okay so all these things are the element of 
स्टैंडर्ड टूल बार नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज स्क्रोल बार we can scroll our document like that by using a mouse pointer by using a scroll button so this is our scroll bar now the next thing is side bar this option or this feature is only in libreoffice writer not in ms word this is sidebar so in sidebar we can directly access some panes including properties style and formatting gallery and navigation so this is sidebar see properties page style gallery and navigation if i want to open a gallery then just click there you will get the gallery directly means easy access is the use of sidebar now the next one is document area document area or we can say it is work area work area is the thing where we are writing now it allows you to add or edit the text the area in the libreoffice writer where you can type the text is called document area this area can hold unlimited number of characters then numbers symbols or picture anything when you move your mouse pointer to the document area it changes to an i beam see it changes like a i beam so this i like structure is i beam the mouse pointer again changes to an arrow when you move it outside the document area see it become a mouse pointer now and now it become i beam this is i beam this is mouse pointer and the last one is status bar displays the information such as current page column line number at which the cursor is currently placed it also shows the zoom percentage see this is the last thing is status bar here you can see, where you can see the status of page how many pages are there on which page number we are working page 1 of 1 means this document contain only one page and we are work, working on one page total words even total characters the name of style then zoom percentage also see okay so these things are there in windows libre office writer window so this is all about the session number 1 and session number 2 so for today we will stop here only we will see the next part next session like text editing paragraph editing in our next video so ye video aapko kaisa laga ye comment box mein zarur bataiye like karna aur share karna mat bhuliye tab tak ke liye bye bye take care enjoy your learning